Speaking of that, millions of Americans sweltering all across the country right now under record-breaking temperatures. The remnants of the hurricane continue causing problems all across a wide stretch of the country. And there are other problems coming from the ocean. NBC's Emily Akeda has more from New York's Coney Island. Hey there. Well, the heat we're expecting is the kind where officials are urging people to drink water every 15 minutes when they're outside and it's not expected to ebb. In fact, those high temperatures are expected to continue to spread in the coming days. For the more than 1 million Americans that are without power, without AC, the situation is turning dire. Across the country, there are nearly 40 deaths blamed on the heat. Out west on social media, you're seeing people demonstrating it's so hot that they can actually cook their breakfast outside in Texas. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to remain without power as a result of the remnants of Hurricane Barrel for another several days. They've already been dealing with those heats and the hospital systems down there have been reporting a surge in heat related illnesses. So there's pressure mounting on the power company center point there, but it points out that while it understands the difficulty and the frustrations from residents, it has restored power to a million customers faster than it ever has. In the Northeast, a bit of a different problem, the remnants of hurricane barrel bringing an immense amount of rain over the last couple of days and some reported tornadoes in Vermont. For instance, the National Guard even activated helping with more than 100 water rescues. This comes exactly a year after it saw similar catastrophic flooding back here along New York City beaches. Some have been reopened after NYPD drones spotted at least two sharks swimming near shore. If it's not the sharks, it's the rip currents they're warning people about. Always remember to swim near a lifeguard. And when you see those yellow and red flags, be mindful of potentially life threatening conditions. Back to you. Emily Akeda reporting there another